Today's video is a little bit of a passion project for me. Uh, it's something that growing up in Virginia, I had to deal with my whole life. We're gonna talk about the issues uh, around right to retrieve with hunter trespass and then the presence of hounds on the properties across the eastern side of the state year round, 12 months out of the year. It has really become an issue for people. Um, the Virginia Property Rights Alliance, I encourage everybody to check out their website. Uh, they're fighting for landowner rights in the Commonwealth. This is by no means an attack uh, on the practice of dog hunting. It's more to regulate how it's being done in the state of Virginia. Uh, but of course, I want all of you guys to drop a comment and form your own opinions uh, and then reach out to the representatives at the end of the video. So thank you guys for watching. We'll dive right in and be sure to check out Virginia Property Rights Alliance. Virginia has an antiquated law known as the right to retrieve law. Virginia Code Section 18.2-136 states, Hunters of all other game, when the chase begins on other lands, may go upon prohibited lands to retrieve their dogs. This allows hunters to go upon any private property without permission at any time, day or night. The law does not stipulate to the number of owners or the length of stay. This law has essentially turned private property in Virginia into public property What's more, Virginia Code 3.2-6538, hunting dogs are permitted to run at large and not required to be under the owner's immediate control. With these two codes on the book, conservation officers and local law enforcement will not get involved, leaving it up to Virginia landowners spending thousands in civil suits to recover damages from trespassing dogs and hunters alike. You cannot stop an owner of a hunting dog from roaming your property so long as they claim to be retrieving a dog. Dogs are allowed to roam free and self-hunt private property across the state. The problem not only lies with the right to retrieve law in Virginia, but more specifically, the hunting dogs and the hunters themselves. Who are you? None of your walking business. I kind of feel like a person shouldn't have to be an asshole at all these right. people who I would normally get along with. But you know, hey, if you can't keep your dog where it's supposed to go, don't let it out of the box. I, I'm not responsible. The person that opens that dog box is the one that's responsible for where the dog goes. The doggers are using that monitor that has a blip on the screen that is supposedly showing a dog that I may not even see and, and most of the time don't hear as the excuse to use right to retrieve. My, my unit shows I have a dog on you. And how does a blip on your screen mean I need to let you onto my property? Any person who claims to have a hunting dog can come on your property to retrieve it. Is there a burden of proof to show that they in fact have a dog on your property? No, no, no burden of proof at all. Uh, west of uh, 29, I believe it is, they can't use dogs over there for deer hunting. So I don't see why the rest of the state can't enjoy that same peace and quiet that they have. Seems a little bit arbitrary to me. We bought this property, look forward to enjoying just a peace and quiet on our property. That's our legal right. And unfortunately, uh, November, December, and the first part of January is uh, Probably some of the worst months of the year. The individuals that uh, perpetrate these crimes are referred to uh, by my wife and I as terrorists. They really are terrorists because when the hunt season comes in, you got no idea what's gonna happen on your property or to your property. We've had cameras, expensive cameras stolen off of our property, and we've had absolutely no success getting the Virginia Department of Game and Inland Fisheries or the local sheriff uh, to give us any relief at all. All of these hunting dogs I see have the collars on them. These hunters know exactly where those dogs are at Actually. all times. There is no reason a dog should ever wander onto my property. They know where they are. Stop them before they get onto my land. Dog people say the dogs can't read posted signs, but the GPS collar negates that. The GPS collar allows the owner of the dog to see where the dog is, 
and the property lines are clearly on the screen they're looking at. It's no excuse in the dog being on my property ever. During hunting season, we stretch a cable across our driveway because this is a turnaround point for the hunters. And obviously it's private property, but we put a cable across to keep them from being able to use our driveway as a turnaround point or as a pickup point for their dogs. While it is illegal in Virginia to shoot across the roads, that's still what happens oftentimes is the deer cross the private property lines onto the right of way of the roads where the hunters are parked. In the, in the thrill of the hunt, the excitement, they do shoot along the road and even across the road. It's, it's not safe, it puts all our families in, in danger. And we came home and someone had shot point blank range from the front through the back of the mailbox. And because of that, we stop our mail during the entire hunting season. Either my husband or I go to the post office every couple of days to pick up our mail because we can't have it delivered here. We just simply want the trespassing dogs to get off of our property and for the doggers to have to have accountability and to maintain them on the properties of which they have permission. We have dogs on our property year round. They're actively hunting. If you haven't been around hunting dogs, they're different than pets. When they're on your property, they're either chasing an animal or they're trying to find one to chase. And that can be um, an advantage to the dog hunters because they'll bring the deer to their property where they can be shot. As a private property owner in Virginia, I've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars acquiring my property. I spend thousands annually on wildlife management to benefit all wildlife, not just deer. This isn't a hunting issue. This has little to do with hunting itself. It's about my basic constitutional right to exclude others from enjoying my private property. I pay 100% of the taxes and yet I don't get to enjoy my property year round how I would intend to. So name me what other hobby that private landowners are forced to participate in by someone else. To what degree do I have to participate in your hobby as a private landowner? So as a private property owner though, when, when you do have dogs or trespassers retrieving those dogs, what what can you do? Other, I mean, other than go to a meeting, you... Well, there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. When, and when the game wardens show up, is there any code that says there's an issue? There is nothing they can do. And it doesn't matter if it's one game warden or 10 of them, when they show up, they're gonna tell you there's nothing they can do. The doggers must be held accountable for what they are doing instead of the landowners being made out as the bad guys for not wanting the intrusion on the property that we have invested in. I don't feel comfortable with you here without my husband. It's a scary thing uh, going onto your property and, and not knowing who might be there that day, whether they're a felon, uh, they don't have to present any identification to you. They don't have to prove who they are. They can say they're looking for a dog and they can stay on your property for hours while they quote unquote search for that dog. My daughter, my wife are terrified to go onto my property during the hunting season and during the field trial season just because they never know who they're gonna run into. And local sheriffs and law enforcement from DWR refuse to acknowledge this issue. Cumberland County Sheriff made a statement uh, that he sent to DWR saying that the right to retrieve and hound hunting in his area wasn't an issue. It came to light that Cumberland County, Virginia was one of the red spots for complaints regarding hound hunting for a number of complaints against hound and hunter trespass. So these local sheriffs, uh, this local law enforcement, not only are they not getting involved, uh, they're even sweeping it under the rug saying it's not an issue. And I live right, the sheriff's office posted on their Facebook that private property in their county was in fact public because of the right to retrieve. And as a Virginia landowner, all we're asking is for our ability to exclude and keep our private property private. In the Founders Constitution, Chapter 16, James Madison writes, this term and its particular application means that dominion which one claims and exercises over the external things of the world in exclusion of every other individual. That is what private property is supposed to be here in the Commonwealth. 
We are supposed to have the right to exclude any number of individuals from coming onto our property for any number of reasons, and the right to retrieve continues to negate our basic property rights. And once you get out in these communities and really talk to people, most people don't like it. And the hound hunters can be held accountable.